everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Erin, and today I have my January Boxy Charm unboxing and review try on for you guys. Now, this month the theme was Rock 2018, and you know, you get your little card with all your products on the back. Something that they did this month that I thought was really, really neat is that one of the products didn't come in its original box, so they did include a little extra placard that has um, ingredients for that product, which I thought was really, really neat. So, in case you were allergic to something, or wanted to know what was in this product, they provided that for you. So right now I have nothing on my face except for moisturizer because there's quite a few things here to put on. But the first thing we can start with is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Illuminating Primer. Now I do have the mattifying one. Yes, I have the Dr. Brandt Pores No More um, Pore Refiner. And this was like a little perk from Sephora where if you spent $25, you can put in little codes and you can get samples of things. So this was actually a free sample that I received from one of my recent um, Sephora orders. And I've really been enjoying using this. I think that it does a really good job of smoothing down the pores. So it'll be interesting to have a pore minimizing primer that is also illuminating and also it being on my oily complexion. So I am recording this video at night. I came home from work today and washed off my full face of makeup. I will not be leaving the house after I apply this makeup so I won't be able to give you guys like a wear test but I did want to show you guys how a lot of these products went on. So without any more rambling let's go ahead and put this primer on. Now it's like a pinky flesh toned cream and I've got about a pea sized amount. I'm just gonna go and apply that all over my face. This does feel like the other Pores No More primer. And I don't think it necessarily adds as much um, shine to the face as like the Peter Thomas Roth like gold serum stuff that I received in the play box last month, but I have a little bit left on my hand. Um, it almost reminds me so you, you can't, I mean, you might see a little bit of reflection, but this almost reminds me of one of the like Becca um, primers, like one of the backlight primers. That's what this almost reminds me of, but it does kind of remain tacky so that you are able to really get your foundation to stick to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some foundation and I'll be right back for some other products. So this is what it looks like with foundation and concealer on. I did use the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation and then the Ulta, um, what is this? The Ulta Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. I did look up close in my mirror to try to figure out what makes this luminous and there are very fine um, micro glitters in here because I could see like sparkles. Um, they look to be like gold toned sparkles in there but it is something where it's not necessarily like a crushed up highlighter type of luminous. It is like a sparkle luminous, but I wanted to go ahead and just put one of my lighter weight foundations on. So, I mean, I'm still looking shiny because this is just a very hydrating foundation, but I'm gonna go ahead and lay everything down with powder and see how it looks. So I set down my face using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And if I look up close in my mirror, I almost feel like I have like some of the sparkles coming through like the glitters separated from the primer and are kind of like sitting on top of my face Ugh. um I do feel like my pores have been minimized just like the other pores no more primer from dr. Brandt so I think that they have that down but as far as the luminous part of this with those micro glitters I feel like you know like when glitter stands up on end instead of laying flat against something and you can kind of see it jutting out? I feel like the glitters are almost kind of like jutting out from my skin. But I'm going to go ahead and put on some other products and see how this looks at the end as well. I think next I'm going to go on to eyes and we ended up getting the Glam Metals. Um, eyeshadow palette from Crown and this is the same company that makes crown brushes. Um, these are the shades that come in here. I'm kind of very excited about this because since I'm not wearing this look outside the house I think I want to try to do something a little bit out of my comfort zone but I mean it has this little mirror that's in the shape of a guitar 
do is that really useful for much maybe maybe not but I am excited about going into these now all of these are um, metallic shades so you will need to bring in shades for like um, transition shades and crease shades and things like that but they do kick up a little bit of powder but I'm really interested in these blues that's why I ended up swatching those so the top one is punk and then heavy metals this is glam rock and then this is the wicked so i'm gonna go ahead and dip into another one of my palettes to kind of set down some crease shades and then i'll pick out um, a color or two from here to go ahead and pop on the lids so i think i'm just going to go into my tart clay play palette to get some um, crease shades and just lay down a transition shade so i'm going into the middle bronzer shade that is called desert and we're just gonna go ahead and define our crease a little bit. By the way, if you guys hear something running in the background, I have my space heater going because it is about 25 degrees outside and this Florida girl just cannot handle it. So I've been carrying my space heater around the house with me for the past couple days because we actually had snow again last night and it actually lasted for quite a few hours. They had roads shut down because of the ice. Just us people in Florida, we can't, we can't deal with this. So all of that craziness needs to go back up north. Forgive me, there is one matte color in here and it is this matte black. I'm not really a fan of using black on my eyes even to like deepen up the outer V I just don't touch blacks because I never want to go that smoky with it but at least they do provide you with one matte shade in there I think I want to do is I think I want to go in with rock on and just kind of put that a little bit in my crease and I know kind of putting like metallics in your crease is like a no-no but I'm just playing around with this now they are very powdery, you know, I'm dipping in there with my brush, I'm picking up quite a bit, but after I tap it off, a lot of that product is gone, which can be a good thing if you're not wanting to lay down a lot of pigmentation. So I think that like, if you're kind of just starting and you're, you're trying to get your foothold with some um, eye products, this could be really, really good because you really have to build up the color and you can't really make that mistake of going into heavy handed all at once. So now that I've put rock on in my crease, I do want to go ahead and pat heavy metals all over my lid. Now I want to do like one lid with my finger and then another lid with a brush with maybe some Fix Plus on it. So we'll do the brush side first. Not to ruin my palette, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into heavy metal, pick it up on my brush and then spray. and see how that looks. Then I just wanna go back in with that same brush that I used to put um, rock on, and I'm just gonna kinda blend out the edges. But that's beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger to apply on the other side. I'm always kind of nervous using my fingers because I don't feel like I have a whole lot of real estate on my lids. And using my fingers, I always feel like I'm going to put too much product on or not have the same amount of control that I do with a brush. But it goes on a whole lot more pigmented using your finger, but just to blend everything out, I'm gonna go back in with the same brush and just get into some of the little tighter places that I don't feel like I can get with my finger. Yes, a lot more pigmented with your finger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my finger and get this eye to be a little bit more like the other. So if you wanna get the most metallic feeling out of these, then go ahead and just pat everything on with your finger. But again, I'm gonna go and blend everything out on this side. And I'm gonna be a little bit daring. I'm gonna go ahead and go into that matte black and see if I can deepen up that outer V a little bit by just stamping.
So I just took the shade Punk and just put it up a little bit higher above that crease because I wanted to have that blue a little bit more blown out. Um, Cause again, I'm not leaving the house with this look, but this is totally something that I would have rocked whenever I used to go to like indie concerts back whenever I lived down in Tampa. We had a lot of like indie bands that came out of that area. And so we, I would go to shows a lot of times cause I actually dated a drummer in like a hardcore metal band. So I would always go to shows. And who else had the phase of just like blue eyeshadow? I feel like everybody like during their like teens had that like that deep blue eyeshadow and you guys would just go to town with it. So I totally had my blue eyeshadow phases and so this kind of really brings me back to that. I do think that this is appropriately kind of named because I do feel like rock vibes from this um, from this palette. So I'm really really actually enjoying this. Now just to see how this like this almost looks like it could be a brow bone highlight, which this one is called Pop Rock. And it's a little bit more of a taupey green type shimmer, but I'm just gonna take another fluffy brush and see how that looks up on the brow bone. And on the inner corners. So that shade Pop Rock is a little bit darker than what I would normally put on a brow bone or in the inner corner, but we're just going with it tonight because we are just having makeup play time. So I also went ahead and popped a little bit of the heavy metal shade underneath the uh, lower lash line. I think I'm gonna go back in with more of like a highlighting highlight for the inner corner. If that's one thing that this palette is missing is a good brow bone and inner corner highlight because like I said, this pop rock shade is a little bit too deep for that. But overall, the, the pigmentation of these is very, very impressive. The colors are very pretty. This is something a little bit out of my comfort zone but I'm totally feeling it but I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some liner and I will be right back so I went ahead and winged out my liner and put on some mascara now I think I'm going to move along to the face and this product right here is really why I maybe didn't want to leave the house this is the pure bronze and brighten palette and the reason I was kind of scared with it is I saw other people were reviewing this product and it is a all sparkle bronzer highlight and blush palette now I just watched a video today from Zabrina and she was talking about a trend for 2018 is going to be everything like metallic and I think she even said something about how they might be coming out with a lot more metallic blushes and face products and well you know pure just might be in front of the game on that one but since I do have oily skin um, I didn't necessarily want to have to wear this for a full day of work in case this bronze was just like glow city which I think it might end up being um, these are very powdery they feel creamy and powdery at the same time if that's even possible but there's the swatches right there so I, I really 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 okay so I'm gonna have to go in with a very very light hand with these but let me go ahead and try to put these on my face So as far as the bronzer goes, it's a little bit of Patch City up in here. So I even changed brushes to my Eco Tools blush brush, which I use all the time to bronze and contour. And this stuff is just so hard to blend out. Like, look at the patchiness in, in through here. And the color is just entirely too deep for me, I believe, um, to the point, and as far as blending, it's to the point where like, I almost feel like I'm rubbing off everything underneath this bronzer, just trying to blend it out. So I don't think I'll be using this as a bronzer per se, because number one, I think it's too deep for me, and then also it's hard to blend out. And um, 
let's face it, uh, it's it's a glittery bronzer on an oily skin type, but um, this will probably look really gorgeous on the eyes. So this was probably something that I'll end up using on my eyes more than on my face, but let's go ahead and we'll put on the blush as well. Now this has the potential to be very, very pretty. It is that corally color that I really do like. Again, it's very chalky and it's very, very pigmented. So you just have to go in with a little bit lighter of a hand with that one. I used my Wet n Wild angled brush for that. There is a glow to the cheeks with this product, of course, because let's face it, these, these all could be highlighters. Um, but there is that glow. Um, again, out in natural light, since it is nighttime, I think out in natural light, I would just look like a bronzed statue. But, you know, if you're going out at nighttime, you know, to a dance club where if the, like, the lights hit you perfectly and you're just gleaming, that might be really pretty with this. I don't know if this blush is something that I'll incorporate into my everyday um, routine, but I am excited about this highlighter. And what I wanted to do is use this highlighter also to pop into the inner corners and then we'll see how it lights up the face as well. All right, so we got a little bit of brightness um, in the eyes. I will say, as I was patting the product over here in the corner here, my eye did water a little bit and sting, so I don't know if these are necessarily safe for eyes. Um, again, I could have gotten another product you know, in my eye or something that made it sting, but the coincidence is kind of hard to overlook. So I don't know if I'd necessarily go in and put these on your eyes all the time um, or, you know, really, really close to the eyes. But I have my Sigma highlighting brush here, so I'm going to go ahead and pop some of this highlight onto the cheeks. All right, guys, you might be able to be seen from space with this highlighter. It is very, very bright. I mean, especially my Cupid's bow, you can really just see how much it is shining. Um, I kind of like the highlighter and I wish that they would have just sent us a pan of the highlighter. I think that this bronzer is ridiculously um, pigmented and it maybe only is going to suit a certain skin tone. Um, and then the blush again is really, really deep, but that highlighter is just gorgeous. So I might just use this for the highlighter. Does this remind you guys of Neapolitan ice cream? I'm sure it does, because this is just making me hungry for ice cream. But overall, great pigmentation, almost to its fault. Um, I will continue to use this for the highlight shade, but again, it might end up in like a fails product because just that bronzer was horrible to have to blend out. Next, we are going to move on to brows and we ended up getting this IT Cosmetics Brow Power and this is their Universal Brow Pencil. So it ends up coming with the pencil on one end and it's like an elongated oval which I really like this over just like the straight like fine tips and then you get a nice spoolie on the other end. I like these smaller spoolies. I feel like it's easier to control everything with these smaller spoolies but the, with the universal um, colors it's kind of like if you press harder you get a darker color. If you press softer you get a softer color. Um, so let's see if I can get some colors to show up here. So that's pressing very, very lightly and that's pressing harder. So I can understand how this might go from a blonde or a taupe to a soft brown. I think that if you have um, hair coloring that is deeper than like soft brown, this may not work for you. Of course, like if you have really dark or black colored hair. This may not be able to match for you, but we're gonna go ahead and see how this works in the brows.
So that is one brow penciled in and one brow not. Um, I do like how easy this is to um, get onto your eyebrows. I don't feel like I'm pushing too hard or ripping out brow hairs, just trying to get the pencil pigmentation to show up. Um, it did a very quick and easy job with filling in. Now this eyebrow over here is the one that I have my scar in and I usually have to use like two or three products to get that scar covered. But we're gonna go ahead and see how this performs in my difficult eyebrow. All right, that is the second brow done. I'm really impressed with how this actually um, sticks the pigment to your skin because I do have that scar in there and usually I have to go back in with powder and really set that scar down. Um, because a lot of other brow pencils don't like sticking to my skin to fill in that area. Um, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Again, I have been absolutely 100% um, in love with a product from It Cosmetics. So this will definitely be going into my everyday makeup routine. I'm just going to go ahead and set these down with some brow gel. And I think then we get to move on to lips. All right, for lips, we ended up getting a Girlactic beauty matte lip paint and this is in the shade help if i would open it wouldn't it now i've never tried anything from this brand before it comes with really pretty matte um, packaging with this almost like rosy gun metal top and this one is in the shade demure and it and and it's this really pretty almost brick red tone right here it's almost like brick mixed with rose is I think I need to end up like getting the like Bob Ross dictionary of colors so I can try to figure out how to name colors for you guys but I'm not gonna use a lip liner I'm just gonna go ahead and slap this on and see what it looks like All right guys, so this is our lip color. I absolutely love this. Um, there's been some other deeper shades that BoxyCharm has sent out that I haven't been the biggest fans of, but this is so comfortable. It dries down, it feels almost weightless. I do feel a little bit of that like chalky dryness on my lips, but it's not anything that's extremely uncomfortable. The main thing for me would be if it gets that weird ring on the inside of, of the lips um, as the day goes on, but let me see barely any transfer it's probably still drying down a little bit but this is kind of a win in my book I really really like this color but overall this is kind of the look that I came up with for the boxycharm I probably would not wear this lip with um, the bright blue eyes but you know we're working with what we're working with but overall um, I'm really loving the lip product. I'll have to fill you guys in in other videos as I use it more. Um, the It Cosmetics Brow Power Brow Pencil is amazing. It made doing my brows so, so easy, and so I'm excited about incorporating that into more makeup looks. The palette from Pure, again, I'll play with it some more, but you know, metallic bronzer, blush, and highlight all in one face is kind of pushing it for me. The Glam Metals palette is very pretty, very pigmented, a little bit chalky, but not too much that I can't deal with. And then the Illuminating Primer here, I'll have to use it some more and see what I think. I really don't like the fact that it had those micro glitters in it and I almost felt like those glitters were standing up on my face, um, drawing more attention to maybe the fact that there is glitter on my face. But um, I think that this is a pretty good box this month. Just for these three things right here, I am super excited about this box. Continue to play with this and then this might just end up in my bottom drawer where makeup goes to die. But um, I'm still very satisfied with my boxy charms. I will continue to get them. I'll continue to review them and put them on my face for you guys. Uh, look for uh, the like end of the month favorites video to see if these pop up and I have loved to continue using them. If you found this video helpful or you like this type of video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you guys got something different in your boxy charms or what is your favorite thing that you received in your box this month. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that bell so that you know when I upload and I will see you guys next time. Bye!